I'm kicking things off today by applying an eyeshadow primer to the lid. I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer. It's clear, so if you have any pigmentation on your lids, you might want to conceal that first. I took some of my foundation across my eye area to combat the pigmentation and the primer now is just going to help the eyeshadows to apply nice and smoothly and allow them to last all day. Then I picked up some of my powder on my finger and I'm pressing it onto the eye area to set the primer in place. Today I'm showing you how you can use a blending brush in various different ways to create a smoky eye. It's a handy video let's say if you're a beginner and don't have a lot of brushes or if you're travelling and are packing light. So I'm taking this eyeshadow palette here from Sleek and starting out by using the tip of my brush to pick up some of the light shimmery eyeshadow and I'm applying it around the tear duct of the eye and this is just going to add a nice pop to that area. Using the tip of the brush again I'm picking up some of that deep terracotta eyeshadow and I'm sweeping the colour back and forth in the socket. Once the majority of the eyeshadow has been placed in the crease I'm moving my brush upwards a little higher towards the brow bone. Then I'm going back in with some more eyeshadow and repeating the process, fading out the shadow the closer to the brow bone that I get. Now I'm lying the brush flat on its side and using the side of the brush to pick up some of this glitzy navy blue eyeshadow and I'm adding that shadow halfway across the eyelid. So using the brush in this way will allow you to get the same effect as if you were to use a shader brush or a C-shaped brush as it's allowing me to pack colour directly onto the eyelid. Now I'm flipping that brush around and using the clean side to pick up some of this deep purple eyeshadow and I'm patting the brush down on the remaining half of my eyelid to coat that area. By pressing the shadow down onto the lid you're going to limit the chance of fallout and you'll get a nice opaque finish to your shadow. Once I'm done I'm going to place the brush in between those shades just where the two meet and I'm wriggling my brush from side to side to blend the two shadows together. I don't want there to be harsh lines between the two. Now I'm using a small elastic hair bobble to adapt my brush. I'm taking a bobble between my index finger and thumb and I'm putting it onto the brush. Once it's on the ferrule, steady the elastic with your thumb so it doesn't pop off. And with the other hand, you want to twist the elastic and use your index finger and thumb again to loop the bobble around the brush head. Once I've done this a couple of times, slide it up the ferrule and onto the bristles and the further you move up the bobble, the more tapered the brush hairs will be and now we've already made taper blending brush for a more precise eyeshadow application. So now I'm just taking that same eyeshadow that I used previously and I'm drawing a line out towards the tail of my brow to elongate the eyes. Then I'm picking up some black eyeshadow with the tip of my brush again and I'm using it to add some definition to the outer third of the eye. As the brush is tapered to a point, this is going to result in the eyeshadow being more concentrated, so it would be handy if you wanted to do a technique like a cut crease. For now though, like I said, I'm adding some depth to the outer corner of my eye, and I'm using that line I drew down as a guide, I'm not adding or blending colour outside of that point. I've taken the elastic off the brush and now the bristles are back splayed out rather than clustered together, so this is going to help blend out and fade that black eyeshadow. I've been working my shadows from light to dark so I haven't needed to clean off my brush until now that I've gone in with the black, <laughs> there's no going back. So I'm taking a cotton pad and just removing the excess product off my brush and this is going to prevent the eyeshadow from getting grubby when blending. So now that my brush is clean I'm moving on to the lower lash line with that bobble again and applying some of the crease shadow down along that area. By having the bobble on the brush it's going to make the blending brush act almost like a pencil brush. I use it this way to take the eyeshadow close to my lash line and then sometimes I take the bobble off and blend underneath to smoke out the shadow. So I've just added the purple, now some of the black and now I'm lining the waterline with one of my favourite eyeliner pencils and then I'm moving on to lashes. So these lashes are new ones by Kiss, they're gorgeous and I've just added some glue along the lash band and I'm applying the lashes to the eye area. Don't worry though if the lash doesn't stick down the first time or the second, just try again, sometimes it happens but you'll get it eventually. Finally then I'm adding some mascara to blend my own lashes in with the false ones but then that's it. So I hope you found this video helpful and picked up some tips and tricks. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.